What's going on guys, I'm with Moose and today I'm back on my Red Sox franchise. This is the first game of the ALDS against the Toronto Blue Jays. A very exciting series coming your way for sure. I already played all the games, I already know the outcome. I'll let you guys figure that out in the next video or two though. This video was gonna be the entire series honestly because I thought you know maybe I could sweep them, maybe I would get swept, who knows. But actually this first game was absolutely insane, crazy, nuts, anything, anything you can think of. Uh, it was that. So we're hopping into it. Obviously, it is just going to be game one of the series. We have uh, a couple more games coming in a in a uh, you know subsequent episode, and I think that's what I'm going to do for most of the playoffs. Hopefully, we keep going on if we move on to the ALCS and World Series and so on. And um, you know, I'll probably make two or three videos per series. Maybe for the World Series, I'll do uh, you know one video per game or something like that if we make it there. Of course, hopefully we do. Um, but let's keep it rolling. Let's see what we get. David Price on the hill here in the top of the third inning. We're starting off in. Uh, after really nothing happened in the first two innings, like literally nothing happened. I don't even think, I think that was the first hit of the game, honestly, if I remember correctly. So they get a base right there. Then we get a strikeout though on Devin Travis. So we're looking okay. I think, you know, David Price trying to shake those playoff demons. And then they get a base right here, kind of a seeing eye single. Nobody could get to it. Maybe I should have switched on to Xander and Dove. I'm not entirely sure. You know, maybe I could have gone back and done that a little differently. But in general, it's just kind of a lucky base hit. And then this one right here, Xander just boots it. Not able to recover in time. Does get the guy at second base, but cannot get the out at first, which would have ended the inning. And that was almost certainly, certainly a double play if he feels that cleanly uh, off the first bounce. And instead, the inning continues. They get a base hit, getting, getting uh, the first run across of the series um, you know, on the board for them. And they take the lead. So that is not what we wanted to see. That is definitely uh, ugly. And then they get another base hit right after. So really, that error cost us two runs right here as Jackie Bailey Jr. comes up throwing just a little bit off the mark. Lucro had to come up a bit too far and was not able to tag the guy out at home. So they get two runs off that. Josh Donaldson delivering for him. Thankfully, we do strike out Ed Edwin Encarnacion right there. A big time strikeout by uh, David Price, kind of salvaging that inning, even though two runs is not ideal at all. Now the fifth inning right here, Jonathan Lucre gets a base hit for us, a big time hit. Really needed to get something going. Uh, definitely a huge uh, you know, play for us there. Uh, just getting somebody on the bases, just doing something. And then Jack Bailey Jr. with a monster hit. This time to right field. Can it get out? Not quite. Lands at the base of the wall. We're going to send Luke Croy home, though. Not the fastest runner in the world. But we're going to send him. We need a little spark on offense. And that's exactly what we get. Luke Croy slides in just before the tag gets there. And we are only down by one now. Two to one. A huge uh, play right there. Now we get a walk and then a strikeout, I believe, by Andrew Benintendi. Uh, walk to Yon Mancata. And thankfully... Dustin Pedroia delivers the veteran play, getting the sacrifice fly to center field, tying this one up at two and kind of resetting the ball game for us. As David Price honestly had been pitching amazing to this point, minus that one little hiccup in that inning, uh, but you honestly came and blame him for it. He pretty much had it, uh, you know, had the double play, just Xander kind of booted it or whatever. Now, here in the bottom of the sixth inning, Mookie Betts gets on with a nice double. That's a very nice impact hit right there. That's exactly what we need from the perennial MVP candidate. Hopefully one of the best players, best young players at least, in the MLB. We get a walk with David Ortiz. This is his final season. He's got to make the most of it. A walk will do just fine there. And then Haley Ramirez delivers with a base hit to right field. Unfortunately, they were playing in, so we can't send Mookie home. We also had to hold up a little bit just in case it was caught by that second baseman. So we got bases loaded for Jonathan Lucre, the newcomer, the guy we get traded for, and he takes a walk on a pitch that I don't know how, how it missed, honestly. It was a 3-2 count. I was being really cautious. I thought it was strike three. The ump called it a ball, and we take the lead on that. Now, they make a dumb play right here, a grounder to first base with Ortiz running home. Zero speed on the base pass. Should have easily gotten that out at home and maybe even gotten that out at first for that double play. Instead, we're scoring, and they only get one out now. Unfortunately for us, Moncada does ground into a double play the next play, but that still gave us a free run, and honestly, would not have scored that if they hadn't uh, thrown that one to second. Now, in the top of the seventh here, right after we score those two runs to take the lead, we're giving one right back. A huge monster home run for Chris Calabella over the monster over everything and David Price definitely cannot be happy about that as he's trying to like I said kind of exercise those playoff demons has not had a great playoff career in his uh you know tenure in the MLB so trying to uh you know show that he can actually pitch on the biggest stage in baseball he gives a kind of a fluky base hit right there to uh to Jose Bautista and then another error by our mid early fears this time by Dustin Pedroia the sure-handed second baseman perennial gold glove uh candidate and winner honestly uh, kind of a miss throws it and they got first and second then they have second and third after a sacrifice bunt so it's not looking too great right here only by one run need to kind of contain this a lot and instead he gives up a double in the left center or what, what the hell am i saying left field corner uh you know andrew benetini digs it out tries to get him at second base but a little bit too much speed and two runs across regardless that was a huge hit for him i believe that was dalton pompey a great base hit for him 
and uh, giving them the 5-4 lead. And then right here, Hanley Ramirez diving for it. I don't know if I should have done that or not. Probably not. But I didn't think I was going to get to it without diving. So, you know, it was kind of pick your poison. Which way do you want to miss the ball? And I chose to go for the dive. Now, we are down by two runs going into the um, bottom of the seventh inning. This, like I said, this game was absolutely nuts. Uh, bottom of the seventh inning right now. As you guys can see, once it got to, like, the fifth, it was, like, every half inning, the score was changing. You guys can see double right there with Andrew Benintendi. Then we have Dustin Bedroy at the dish. Two, two count. He gets a base hit. We're going to send Benintendi here. Really risky. Uh, that could have been caught by the left fielder. No problem. Instead, Benintendi coming across to score a huge run for us. A really much needed run to get right back in this game. Really trying to solidify that we have a chance in this ball game. Xander Bogart's up next. And uh, he is able to actually get a base hit. Really nice hit right there for him. And we are going to have runners at first and second with uh, Mookie Betts coming. And then Mookie delivers with a base hit right up the middle. A huge base hit for us as Dustin Pedroia coming around. Xander going to third. And we are able to score on that one. A massive, massive base running uh, decision by us to send Pedroia. Definitely risky, but it pays off in the end. And we're tying it up. David Ortiz up now. 3-2 count. No outs. And unfortunately, he does grind into a double play. But that means we do score the run with Xander coming home from third, giving us the 7-6 lead. This is huge, guys. Definitely a big time play right there. Even though it was a double play and not ideal, definitely not how you draw it up, uh, we'll take it. Now, Carson Smith on in the eighth inning to try to hopefully bridge the gap between Price and uh, Craig Kember, who has been absolutely money for us. He gets a strikeout on the first batter, able to get a grounder um, for an easy second out. And then the third batter up is actually Jose Bautista, the slugger who's had a down year this season. And he absolutely crushes one to right field. And this one just barely gets out of there around the 380 marker where the you know, walk starts to curve out, and that was just so demoralizing. I had finally taken the lead, finally, you know, kind of set that away, and I thought my relievers were going to be able to do it. Instead, we give it up, and it's now 7-7 once again, or tied up once again, I should say. We get a base hit right there with Moncada to start us off, though. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, a huge base hit. We pinch hit Chris Young for uh, Andrew Benintendi with a nice favorable matchup with a lefty on the hill. He gets a base hit on a hit and run, and Moncada moving over to third with that great speed. Really, really nice right there. So we got first and third, nobody out. Really great situation to try to score some runs. Uh, actually, only one out, I should say. Get a walk right there with Dustin Pedroia. A huge walk. Now Xander Bogarts, once again, can he deliver for us? Again, yes, he can. Base hit up the middle. We're going to send two home on this one. Chris Young with a pretty good speed himself. He's going to score as well, taking a 9-7 to lead. Absolutely gigantic hit from Xander. He had a great game. And, uh, you know, just a giant base hit, honestly, giving us another lead that uh, we might actually squander. We'll see. Uh, we filed, unfortunately, here with Mookie Betts. Uh, could not deliver even more insurance for us. And then David Ortiz up next, trying to see if we can punch another run across. And uh, hopefully we can. Instead, he grounds out to second base. So kind of, you know, squandered a chance with only, you know, one out and two guys on to get more runs. But, hey, the damage was done. We took the lead. That's what needed to be done. And uh, now Craig Kimberl on to try to save it out. He strikes out Devin Travis to start off the inning. Very nice. Uh, definitely needed that to try to jumpstart us right there um, on a 3-2 count. Next guy up, he actually gets a base hit. I believe that was Michael Saunders. Gets a base hit up the middle. So they're actually, you know, the tying run is at the plate. Every single batter now. Troy Tulowitzki, he's going to strike it on a, on a knuckle curve. Great pitch right there. Uh, really, really nasty. If I can get that to work, man, it is just disgusting. And the next guy up, Kevin Pillar with Josh Donaldson waiting in the on-deck circle, who always kills me. And <laughs> Dustin Madreya almost makes an error that could have sent this into a uh, real tailspin. Thankfully, Hanley Ramirez making a nice play at first base, and we win this one. Game number one of the ALDS, 9-7. to What I said was a absolutely crazy game, and hopefully you guys did enjoy. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, and let me know if you're excited for the rest of the ALDS and episode coming soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.